Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm passing over to Matt from K15T who dives into the best things that they love about Confluence. Now as many know, Atlassian makes tools like Jira, Trello and Confluence that are used by thousands of teams worldwide. Well Confluence is the number one knowledge base software on the market and it's known as one of the best collaboration softwares out there. Which brings me to today's sponsor, which is K15T. They're experts on all things Confluence and create apps that add robust content management and publishing to all teams collaborating together in Confluence. So I'm going to pass over to their team who's going to dive into a few of the features that make Confluence special. Thanks, Francesco. Hi everybody, I'm Matt with K15T and I wanted to share why we really love Confluence. So some people think it's a wiki tool, some people think it's a knowledge management tool, some people think it's just a place to dump all of your content and it's some of those things and none of those things. Confluence is meant to be the knowledge management and collaboration hub of your entire organization. So essentially it's not there to just hold information but actually it's the place where everybody's supposed to come together to create new content and get things done. So let me show you what we love about Confluence and why we think it's a fantastic collaboration tool for your entire organization. One of the first things we love about Confluence is when you get into Confluence as an individual, you have a homepage. This is where you can see what you've looked at recently, what you're working on, what other people are working on. You're not just dropped right into a pile of content. You can see what work is most important to you and then get into that work as you need. There's also spaces. So unlike other tools, Confluence lets you break your content apart into spaces so you can logically group that content together. So for example, here's a space that has all of our, what you might consider intranet information. So you can navigate it here in the page tree and get to the information that's helpful. Maybe I want to go read our product documentation. I could switch over to a different space. So now I can navigate our product documentation and contribute to it along with my teammates. You could create all sorts of other spaces, spaces for teams, spaces for individuals, and spaces for specialty projects. The great thing about spaces is that you can group your content logically so people can go in, find the information they need, contribute to that information confidently, and can actually use the page tree on the side rather than having to navigate through an incredibly large page structure. Another thing we really like about Confluence is that it has a blog feature built in. So not only is it a place to create and put information, it's also a place to give updates to coworkers. So you could create a blog in a space, letting people know here's something that's changed within the company or here's something that's changed within our content in Confluence. It makes it much more than a place where people go to read things that have been written in the past, but it's also a place where people go to find the latest information on what's going on in the organization. Another thing we really like in Confluence is the search. So not only can you jump very quickly to your recently viewed pages, but you can also jump into advanced search where you can search for pages and files within Confluence using keywords and then filter things down by the space where you think that content is and even the labels and other metadata that's on the page. You can even get really fancy and search with wildcard characters to filter for very specific words or phrases, or you can use CQL to write query-like searches for Confluence. We find that this is much more effective than just the basic search bar when and you're really digging in to find the content you need. And then finally, not only is Confluence powerful on its own, but there are over 800 apps you can use to extend Confluence. There are powerful integrations with Jira, Teams, Slack, and many other apps. And when you're looking, you can look for apps that are totally free for all teams or apps that are free for the first 10 users in Confluence. And all apps extend the base functionality of Confluence so that it can do something completely new, something that meets your team's use case. As makers of some of those apps for Confluence, we specialize in content management and publishing apps. So you can share your user documentation to your users with customized PDF documents and a really beautiful help center. But that's just some of what you can do with Confluence. There's so much more. So if you'd like to learn more, check out our YouTube channel. Just search for K15T. We have a large series of best practice videos for Confluence, and we've just kicked off a new tutorial series so you can get going with Confluence right out of the box. If you'd rather read about how to do some of these things in Confluence, you can head to Rock the Docs. It's our guide for all sorts of collaboration topics and documentation creation in Confluence. And if you're watching through our videos or reading through our content and you still have questions, leave a comment. Let us know what we're missing. That will help us as we continue to explore how to use Confluence to share what you do best.